Hey guys, welcome to CR NT Designers. This is Chetan and this is the Hard Surface Modeling Hack 7. If you are new on this YouTube channel, then don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can follow us on Instagram so you will get regular posts related to the Hard Surface Modeling. You can watch our previous tutorials related to the Hard Surface Modeling so you will get a lot of knowledge. And now let's get started. To make this model, we need to add a cylinder. So shift A and then add a cylinder and we will go with 16 words. After that, you need to rotate this cylinder into the 90 degree and then scale it along the X axis. And then go to the edit mode and you need to add a loop cut. So add a loop cut, control R and then add a loop cut and give the right position to your loop cut. After that, you need to use the knife tool to create a slant cut. So select the first point and then select the second point and then press enter to complete that op operation. So in this way, you can use the knife tool to create that slant cut. Then you can see we have created that slant cut and select everything and press M and merge by distance so we can merge the double words. Then select this edge loop and double tap G for the edge slide. After that you need to select the faces and we need to create here one segment so right click and then connect vertex path and then you can select these words and then delete them. Select these words and then delete them. Okay now you can select everything and press M merge by distance and then select this edge loop and press F to fill the gap. You need to add the words at the center and you need to create chord based topology. So just select the words, right click and then connect vertex bar. After select these faces and press I for the insert operation. And then just delete that face. Then you need to select everything and then mesh and then symmetrize and choose the proper axis for the symmetry. Okay, so you will get the symmetry like this, then select this edge loop and then E to extrude it and scale it down a little bit. One more time, E to extrude it and scale it down a little bit and then press F to fill the gap. Then you need to select these words, right click and then connect vertex path. And you need to create a chord based topology here, so just select the words, right click and then connect vertex path. And then you can select these words and then you can move them along the X axis just to give it a little bit more distance at there. And now you need to add the necessary loop cuts which will support the form of the model. And you need to add the subdivision surface modifier and increase it level up to 2. Now you can see it's look decent and just add necessary loop cuts on the model so we will get a decent form. So in this way you can create the part, if you want to increase the subdivision then you can increase it to, so you will get a more decent look. And easily we have created this. So thanks for watching, if you like this tutorial then hit that like button and subscribe my youtube channel. Bye bye, so in the next video take care.